In example one, we're going to graph quadrilateral RSTU with vertices R at 3, 1, S at 5, 1, T at 5, negative 3, and U at 2, negative 1. We're then going to rotate the quadrilateral 270 degrees about the origin. We want to make sure to give the coordinate of the, or of the image points. All right, first things first, we want to plot our original points. So we'll plot the pre-image or the original object in blue. R is at 3, 1. S is at 5, 1. T is at 5, negative 3. And U is at 2, negative 1. So here are your points. What I would do for this is I would realize we're going 270 degrees. Go up to your table. The rule for that is that A, B gets mapped onto B, negative A. Okay. So what we're going to do is recognize that AB is mapped to B negative A. So I'm going to put this column as our pre-image and this is our image. Our points are R, S, T, and U. There we go. So there's all four points with all their ordered pairs. We're going to use this rule to map onto our image. So 3, 1, the 1 and 3 switch spots, and the 3 becomes negative. And this is R prime. For S, S prime, the 1 and 5 switch spots, and the 5 becomes negative. For T prime, negative 3 and 5 switch spots and the 5 becomes negative. And for u prime, our negative 1 and 2 switch spots and the 2 becomes negative. So let's map these points now. r prime is 1, negative 3, s prime is 1, negative 5, T prime is negative 3, negative 5. And U prime is negative 1, negative 2. And there is my image. Okay, so next step, just like we saw with reflections, if we have coordinate rules, we can also have a rotation matrix or matrices rules. If we're rotating 90 degrees, the rotation matrix is one, or 0, 1, negative 1, 0. If it's 180 degrees, we get negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. If it's 270 degrees, we get 0, negative 1, 1, 0. And if it's 360 degrees, we get 1, 0, 0, negative 1. So take a moment, write these down. Make sure you have these rotation matrices in your notes. It's very important. Once you have these down and once you're ready, you can go on to example two, which is rotations using these matrices. One thing to remember though is just like with our reflection, we always multiply by the transformation matrix first. And you'll see what I mean by that in this first example.